Today, I'm sharing the last secret of the five color grading secrets. As you already know, since the launch of CinemaGrade as a plugin for Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut on the Mac, we've received hundreds, literally thousands of requests for a Windows version. But doing so requires a huge commitment of time and energy, so we want to be sure there are enough Windows users to support the project, which is why we're launching a Kickstarter. With CinemaGrade, we set out to create the easiest and fastest way for content creators to elevate the look of their films without having to master traditional color wheels based on 20-year-old ideas. With CinemaGrade, you get direct on-screen grading, Lightroom style controls, false color view for getting the perfect exposure, easy shot-to-shot -shot matching, real-time previews of LUTs support for the X-Rite color checker chart for doing automatic corrections, and a look transfer tool for copying the color palette of your favorite look and applying it to your own footage. If that sounds like you, and you wanna see how you can color grade three times faster than ever on Windows, click the link in the description below and sign up for the early bird list to get notified when the Kickstarter launches. Like you, I really hope CinemaGrade on Windows becomes a dream come true. All right, so for the last secret, I wanna reveal how to get accurate colors on YouTube or other streaming websites. Now, I know this may not seem like a big deal, but by far the biggest issue or question that comes up in all the color grading forums and groups is why does my video look different after I've uploaded it? People complain constantly about the contrast being different and other strange color shifts. So how do we fix this? Well, the secret to getting color accurate uploads is to develop your own workflow. That is to upload a small segment of your video and keep it private so that no one sees it. Then compare the uploaded version with the original. If it has too much contrast or not enough, then I suggest making a correction in a new node or adjustment layer. Then upload the video again and then compare. For color shifts, like say it comes out too magenta, to remedy that, you can push color controls in the opposite direction towards green. Then upload and compare again. Now it's obviously gonna look funny what you're actually uploading, but after doing this a number of times, you should be able to get something that looks right. I suggest that you use all the tools at your disposal. Check the upload on different monitors, including mobile. And make sure, of course, that you're working on a calibrated monitor. You can take screenshots of frames from the upload and then bring them back into your editor or color corrector and evaluate them with the scopes. Once you've established a final upload look that you like, you can then save that correction as a preset or power grade for later use. Now, I know this seems like a tedious process, but this is what I use to get the most accurate looking uploads. Now, there are some other solutions out there and Adobe even has documentation on this, but I have found that I prefer the custom solution. Also be aware that the browser itself will also display colors differently. For instance, Firefox will show differently than say Chrome. All right, well that's it for the five color grading secrets. I know that I've stressed this a lot, but remember to sign up for the early bird list so you can get 40% off of CinemaGrade for Windows as well as a chance to become one of 200 early beta testers. Well, it's been my pleasure to share with you these tips that have helped transform the look of my films, and I look forward to working with you on Kickstarter. Until next time, I wish you all the best on your projects.